In this video, I'm breaking down week 12 of the NFL season. Look at it from a FanDuel perspective. If you're looking for a DraftKings video, don't worry. I've got one of those on the YouTube channel as well. As you guys are watching this video, if you could be so kind, like, follow, and subscribe. It helps keep our content free and grow the YouTube channel at just like a half second of your time. So do appreciate if you guys could do that. And if you want to sign up for the NFL package at stochastic.com, now is the time to sign up because we have a Black Friday deal going on. When you sign up using the link below and use the promo code SIMS, S-I-M-S, all capital letters, you're going to get 50% off when you sign up for the first time. And if you sign up with the Millie promo last week, don't worry, you aren't being left out. You're going to be emailed a coupon for the Sims promo, and that is going to get you 50% off. So when your current subscription expires, you could re-up with the Sims coupon and get another one for 50% off. But now let's go and look at FanDuel, starting with my top projected lineup, which it's a Rams double stack. Matthew Stafford at QB, and then we've got Jonathan Taylor and Isaiah Pacheco as the running back options. At wide receiver, Cooper Cup, Michael Pittman, and Chris Godwin. Double tight ends here, Tyler Higby and Travis Kelsey, and then it's got the Panthers defense in here. Panthers defense, it's not one that I think I'm going to end up with a bunch of exposure to, just kind of ends up in my top projected lineup here. I don't really sweat defenses too much. You know, it's super annoying when defense goes off in a big way that you don't have exposure to, but defensive fantasy points are not super predictable. Whatever the data ends up giving me and just building out my lineups in the contest center and the Sims, if it just has, you know, one of a random defense like a Panthers in my top projected lineup, cool, I'll ride with it. It's not the end of the world to me because defenses, it's very hard to project what it is they're going to end up with from a fantasy perspective. Now let's go position by position, and I see that I'm getting uh, some really condensed exposure to a couple of players, but let's look at quarterback first and who I'm building some of my stacks around. And condensed QB pool this week, Jalen Hurts is the one I'm getting to the most on FanDuel, 27% alliance with him. And then just under that, we got Baker Mayfield and Matthew Stafford in 16% alliance. Trevor Lawrence and Gardner Minshew around 10%, and then Mahomes and Carr each about 5% of them. So uh, not too much of any quarterbacks beyond these guys, but the one that stands out the most here, Jalen Hurts. So if you're playing one quarterback to make your highest owned on FanDuel, I'd recommend going to Jalen Hurts. And uh, yeah, my top projected lineup there did have Matt Stafford, who looks like a pretty good value play in like that mid-type, uh, like mid-upper tier of the pricing range at QB. Running backs now. What am I getting to a running back on FanDuel? Uh, Pacheco, Jonathan Taylor, and that's about it, really. I mean, there are some other guys in here, too, like Jacobs, Barkley, Connor, Swift, and Javante Williams. So not going to say, like, I'm not getting to anybody else at all. But in terms of, like, really meaningful exposure, the Sims in our contest are telling me to be, like, all in on a chalky Isaiah Pacheco and Jonathan Taylor. So as far as Jonathan Taylor goes, he's also going to be really popular on DraftKings this week. He's the most popular player on the slate on both sites by a fairly wide margin. And I'm cool with it. I understand he's going to be very, very popular, hence the ownership. But I mean, we've got him projected to be the highest scoring player at running back, both DraftKings and FanDuel this week, with nobody else really coming remotely close. He's $7,500 on FanDuel. And the guys that are even projected close to him are generally more expensive. Pacheco, notwithstanding, being like another guy that we like getting to as well. So Pacheco, Jonathan Taylor, they're both going to be popular, but the Sims telling us that they should actually be even more popular than what they are. So Pacheco, Taylor, good piece of chalk in the opinion of our data. Wide receivers that we're getting to. Both routes for wide receivers and a lot of correlation with the quarterbacks that we were getting to. So Chris Godwin, Michael Pittman, Cooper Cup, Chris Olave, AJ Brown, Christian Kirk, the wide receivers I'm getting to the most of. Now, if you do want to play a lineup that doesn't play Jonathan Taylor, here's what I think you should be doing. Play Gardner Minshew and play Michael Pittman. These are two players that both project out decently for us in our data, and it gives you some leverage. If Jonathan Taylor doesn't score the touchdowns for the Colts, who does? Pretty good chance of the passing game. Gardner Minshew to Michael Pittman. That's a reasonable way to pivot off of the Jonathan Taylor exposure. Let's go ahead and look at the tight ends now to wrap up everything. And yeah, not a ton of tight ends that we're getting to. It's just Ingram, McBride, Kincaid, Kelsey, another tight group of tight ends. And you know, once again, a lot of ownership is projected to go to Isaiah Pacheco in the same way that I was just talking about that you could pivot off of the Jonathan Taylor ownership and get some leverages to make a stack that is Gardner Minshew to Michael Pittman. You do the same thing with the Chiefs here. You could go Patrick Mahomes to Travis Kelsey, and that is a way to get off of a 35% on Isaiah Pacheco. So if we're looking at tight end here, nobody else really looks all like that. I got 3% of Dalton Schultz, you know, 3% of Kyle Pitts, 2% of Tyler Higby. But for the most part, I'm pretty good with having a core group of tight ends of Kelsey, Kincaid, McBride, and Ingram this week. 
So that wraps up talking about week 12 from a FanDuel perspective. Like I said before, there's a DraftKings video on the channel. If you haven't done yet, like, follow, subscribe. And if you want to take advantage of our Black Friday offer, which is going to be expiring on Sunday night. So if you want to sign up for our Sims package and get a 50% off discount using that promo code Sims through the link, through the link in, the, in the description box below, sign up now just so you don't forget before it expires because Sunday night is going to be gone. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Good luck in week 12. And I'll see you back here next week.